Cervicalia Capitibus Imposita Linteis Constribunt Id Monumentum Adversus Incidentia Fuit Iam dies alibis illic nox omnibus noctibus nigrior desiorve, quam tamen faces multe variaque lumina solve vanur. Even if it was not the biggest tragedy of the mankind, it is always described as one of the most uh, touching tragedies of the humanity. The volcano that was uh, in the vicinity of the town erupted, killing over 2,000 of the almost 20,000 uh, inhabitants of the cities Pompeii and Herculaneum. The 79 AD eruption was preceded by a powerful earthquake 17 years before, which damaged a great part of the town. Some inhabitants had left, but there were still over 20,000 people around when the eruption took place. The initial blast was around noon of the first day. The deadly cloud of superheated tephra and gases reached a height of 33 kilometers into the atmosphere. The volcano ejected molten rock, pulverized pumice and hot ash at thousands of tons per second, releasing 100 times the thermal energy of the Hiroshima bombing. An ancient voice reaches out from the past to tell us about the disaster. It belongs to Pliny the Younger, who was at that time in the town of Misenum, 30 kilometers away from the volcano. Ashes were falling, not as yet very thickly. I looked around. A dense black cloud was coming up behind us, spreading over the earth like a flood. Let us leave the road while we can still see, I said, or we shall be knocked down and trampled underfoot in the dark by the crowd behind. We had scarcely sat down to rest when darkness fell. Not the dark of a moonless or cloudy night, but as if the lamp had been put out in a closed room. You could hear the shrieks of women, the wailing of infants and the shouting of men. Some were calling their parents, other their children or their wives, trying to recognize them by their voices. People bewailed their own fate or that of their relatives, and there were some who prayed for death in their terror of dying. Many asked the aid of the gods, but still more imagined there were no gods left, and that the universe was plunged into eternal darkness forevermore. First it was believed that the date of the eruption of the volcano was 24th of August, but more recent studies uh, say that uh, the eruption took place in October or November that year. Pliny's uncle, Pliny the Elder, was in command of the Roman fleet at Misenum. Receiving desperate messages from the population near the volcano, he ordered the launching of the galleys to the evacuation of the coast. Fortune favors the brave, were his famous words, while his ship entered the rain of ash and rocks. But he was wrong. While his ships rescued a lot of the inhabitants, he died during the following night. It's strange that people, instead of running, they just stop and watch the how For the ones who didn't run away in the first hours, the situation got worse. Ash fell at a rate of about 15 centimeters an hour, clogging the air, making it difficult to breathe. Then a surge of superheated poison gas and pulverized rock came down the mountain, killing everyone in its way. But recent studies say that the most of the people died from the heat. During the pyroclastic surge, temperatures reached 300 degrees centigrade, killing everyone instantly. First, it was believed that the majority of the people died uh, due to the earthquakes, the lava flow or of the uh, volcanic ash that fell over the town, choking them. But more recent studies say that if you are um, closer than 10 kilometers to the lava flow, the temperature is 250 degrees centigrade, which would cause your instant death. Pompeii was buried under a layer of pumice stones and ash seven meters deep. 
In the neighboring town of Herculaneum, the layer was 23 meters deep. When, after 18 hours, the eruption finally ended, millions of tons of ash were covering the land around the volcano. Over 2,000 people died. Some people came back to town in search of lost relatives and belongings, but there was nothing much left to find. Pompeii, Stabia and Herculaneum were abandoned for centuries. The city remained buried under the volcanic ash for 1,500 years. In the year 1592, the architect Domenico Fontana was assigned to dig a channel for the river nearby. And uh, during his diggings, he found this ancient town. But he found a lot of uh, monuments of erotic art. And he thought that it wasn't quite um, right to show uh, such a city of ancient pleasure to the public. So he buried the city again. Even today, the well-preserved Lupanar is one of the main attractions of Pompeii. In 1748, a farmer discovered again ancient artifacts from Pompeii. This was the moment when the excavation and restoration began. The ashes acted like a perfect preservative. Underneath the ash, Pompeii was almost exactly as it was 2000 years before. The buildings were well preserved and the skeletons were exactly where they have been at the beginning. Household objects were scattered all over the place and archaeologists found even bread and jars of preserved fruit. Despite the fact that it was a great tragedy what happened here in year 79, the historians are very happy this happened. Happy to be with you. Yeah, it, the historians are somehow thankful for what happened because uh, the, nowadays Pompeii is a great lesson of history. Very important are the graffitis or the writings on the walls because they are in uh, colonial Latin. 2,000 casts made from impressions of bodies in the ash deposit have been made only in Pompeii. The contorted postures are not the effects of a long agony, but of the cadaveric spasm as a consequence of heat shock on corpses. The most impressive thing one can see here in Pompeii are those petrified humans. As a matter of fact, there are not petrified humans, uh, they are made out of a sort of concrete. In the moment the volcanic ash came, the bodies were um, trapped into those ash layers and uh, with the time the, the human tissue degraded and the empty space remained inside of the rock. Um, nowadays, um, those empty spaces were uh, filled with a sort of concrete and that's what uh, they look like now. Nowadays, Pompeii is one of Italy's main tourist attractions. The World Heritage Site is now the scene of an ambitious restoration project. Pompeii has been open to the public for over 250 years now, and in the year 2018 there have been over 2.5 million visitors. The archaeological site is very large. For enthusiasts, even one whole day is not enough to see everything. There are several itineraries to choose from, according to the time you have for visiting Pompeii. After we paid the entrance, 15 euros, we received this map for free, so we are lucky. The audio guide costs another 8 euros.
Pompeii is less than an hour away from the city of Naples. Even today the volcano is still active. Every couple of hundred of years it erupts. In 1631 the eruption killed over 6,000 people. Today, in case of an eruption, over 600,000 people would have to be evacuated. But in case of a very violent explosion, even the city of Napoli, with its 3 million inhabitants, would have to be evacuated. <laughs> 